playing Notre Dame, that rivalry is a different kind of breed. And one last time against Michigan, here come the Irish. Michigan doesn't like us, we don't like them, it's not a secret. Oh. Northfleet, who's crushed. It's always a dogfight. Every time we play them, it's a dogfight, and what else could you want? McDaniel opens the scoring. But Michigan in a huge hole. Amir Carlisle is having the night of his life. The best feeling is beating somebody in their own stadium when everybody's against you. Who will have the bragging rights for the next couple years? That's what really matters. And I guarantee Notre Dame will. Game between these two schools, which began in 1887. As we venture up the timeline, 33-year hiatus. They met a couple more times in the early 40s, and then yet another 35-year dormant stage. And they've been almost every year since 1978. It all adds up to Michigan leading the series 20. The Notre Dame game was their chickening out of. In no way uh, do I feel that we're chickening out of the series. There's no doubt about it that Notre Dame chickened out the robbery. I don't know how else you can describe it. The chicken dance. <laughs> Boy, I wonder what they've got planned at Notre Dame if they win this game, huh? So Michigan leads the series, yada, 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 boo-hoo. Who wins this last game is what really matters. The hell will Michigan? I'll tell you, but I will say this. I don't always visit college campuses, but when I do, I prefer it to be Notre Dame. You meet somebody that I went to the University of Michigan, interpretation, they couldn't get into Notre Dame. Make no mistake about it. This is a special Notre Dame team. Remember me telling you that after one game. We only need to be the best team in the stadium each and every week, and we're going to end up winning the national championship again. I want all Michigan alums and everybody in the administration to understand we're not playing you because we're afraid of you. We're playing you because we're trying to upgrade the damn schedule. We are Notre Dame and you ain't. Thank you. <laughs> the two most winning programs in college football history are Notre Dame, then Michigan. Notre Dame is number one. Michigan is number two, and tomorrow night when the sun goes down and the light come up in our hometown, and our turf, and our stadium, we are going to shut Michigan up once and for all. Go Irish. Michigan, they close the final chapter in South Bend with a resounding They have been the heartbeat of the sport from its earliest beginnings. More than a century of famed tradition, sustained excellence, passed on through generations. No man is more important than the team, the team, the team. Go, 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 go! Don't forget, man, today, today, we're gonna win. The maize and blue of Michigan. Michigan has won the national championship. The blue and gold of Notre Dame. We're the best football team in the United States. <laughs> A meeting that has stood the test of time. A history that has linked some of the greatest players to one of its most storied rivalries. A rivalry overflowing with an enduring collection of unforgettable moments. Tonight, one last time, they share the field. Touchdown, Michigan, with two seconds to play. Two of the game's most recognizable and successful teams. 
Two dueling soundtracks synonymous with the tradition and passion of the sport. Michigan and Notre Dame. One more time. September night, Notre Dame Stadium awaits the end of the rivalry for now as Michigan visits 16th rank Notre Dame. Sold out, 80,000 plus lucky fans tonight because this one has turned into one of the toughest tickets all season in college football. Huge game for both. Wanting to make that final statement in the rivalry as the Irish get ready to come out of the tunnel. Also so important for the season-long goals for both teams. Michigan getting ready to come out. Blew out Appalachian State last week, 52 to 14. Notre Dame coasted against Rice last week, 48 to 17. And one last time against Michigan, here come the Irish. will come to an end tonight. How did you prepare your players for the emotions of this game? Well, you know, there's going to be some emotion. You just can't let that get in the way of, you know, good execution. So, you know, it's college football at its best. Uh, you want a little bit of that emotion, but I'd rather have just genuine enthusiasm and, you know, let that be part of the game, but don't let that get in the way of good execution. Coach, how do you think your team will respond playing Notre Dame, a ranked opponent, on the road for the final time tonight? Well, this is fun. What a great atmosphere. Our guys know it. We're embracing it. Perfect evening. Temperature about 70 degrees as for the 42nd time Notre Dame and Michigan get ready to kick off. Notre Dame won the toss and will receive. And there is the respective coaches Kelly and Hoke. Amir Carlisle Part of a very much improved special teams unit for Notre Dame awaits back. And Carlisle's going to bring it out to about four yards deep in the end zone and gets no further than the 16-yard line. It's football. Gain of seven, second and three. And Gardner whips it out, and this time Northfleet will go nowhere. And that is Matthias Farley with a textbook tackle and a loss of two. Flash, here he comes, bang. Big time play, but Dan, sooner or later, you're gonna see the pat and go. In other words, they're gonna fake bubble and try to get in behind. Goes way out. Gardner steps up. Short of the first down, he'll bring up fourth down. Jalen Smith, who's been all over the field tonight so far, met him. Choices, but he sees a crack, takes it, Jalen Smith flies, man. That's a great play by Jalen Smith coming up. Quarterback got out of that way too early. Takes beat us so far. The Irish keeping him under wraps. 46 yarder by Matt Weil is no good. Andrew Golson to his left. The fake to McDaniel and Golson over to Amir Carlisle. It's a third and short. And McDaniel. Picks up the first down. Talk with Everett on the sideline. He came back out. It was coaching speed. Steps up, fires over the middle, complete to CJ Procise. Game of 19 for the junior out of Petersburg, Virginia. Golson steps up, has this pass with a little touch on it. Chris Brown was the intended receiver. Jordan Lewis might have drawn a flag on Brown. Pass interference. Defense number 26. They fake it to him, and the slant route is complete to Amir Carlisle for another first down. Ten again here from the 12. Golson floating it up. Into the end zone, incomplete. He wanted Corey Robinson, and another flag comes in. Pass interference. Defense number 26. I said to prove myself, and on second goal, his number is called, and McDaniel opens the scoring. 
So they're out of timeouts in this first half, but they're up 7 nothing as McDaniel gets the Irish on the board first. Play clock down to two. They get it off. Gardner feels the pressure from the right side. Pass incomplete. He wanted Funchess. It'll bring up fourth down. Notre Dame brought a blitz. That's... And this one doesn't get off the ground barely. So Wild is 0 for 2. And Notre Dame keeps the Wolverines off the scoreboard. Just a little bit on that turf. But look at his left foot. It slid into it. It's a low trajectory. Barely clears the offensive line. Hard to see if anybody got a hand on yeah, it. Yeah, but it was low. It didn't matter. Starting the second quarter here, Greg Bryant gets the handoff from Golson and weaving his way, picking up a pretty good gain after it didn't look like much. So it's been a running back by committee so far. Golson rolling out to the near side. Pass complete to Fuller for the first down. That's a classy. Now fifth-year senior Gardner with a quick hit. To the right side, it's to Chesson again, but Notre Dame is there to meet him. Funches is up high, top of your screen. Gardner was looking this way, but can't get Funches. There he is in motion. Comes back. Gardner gets some pressure from Sheldon Day, able to escape that, but not. Wow. That's speed. Come. The rest of the Notre Dame defense, loss of two. Yeah, Sheldon Day forces him out of the pocket, but speed kills. And Notre Dame's trying to get more and more speed on the ball on defense. There's Sheldon Day, and now watch 43, Colin Hill from the inside out, and then Drew Tranquil, 23. So first it's Day, then it's 43, one freshman, then it comes 23, the other freshman. It passes to seven different receivers last week. He's already connected with four. And on second and eight, he connects with Fuller for the first down. Of course, the Trojans and Cardinal on the Notre Dame schedule upcoming. Ben Koyak close to another first down. That this could have huge implications depending on how good the seasons are for the Irish and Wolverines later down the stretch. And that one complete. Hey. To Carlisle for another first down, gain of 12. <laughs> and here comes the pressure up the middle, and they give it to Fulston. And Fulston short of the first down. The one on one down on the bottom. And Golson gets the first down. Seven to nothing, five and a half to go here in the half. And right down the middle to Robinson for his first catch of the game. And the big six foot four sophomore. Full throw in the pocket with strength and accuracy. Robinson almost got in. Wow. Nine, eight. Golson throwing it to the end zone to Amir Carlisle. Amir Carlisle is having the night of his life. Third and goal, Golson to Carlisle for the second score to put the Irish up by 14. Gardner timing is knocked down out of his hands, and he's lucky to just get it back. Put the ball all the way back to the 15-yard line. Romeo Okwara. A pass, and it got knocked down. Watch the center. Jack Miller get jacked all the way back, and then right there, that's the old... That's the old cup rule right there. Relation. But an excellent punt of this one, a low kick. And Riggs able to field this one and get loose. Up close to the 45-yard line. Notre Dame without any timeouts, burning two very early and then a third. Will Fuller hauls it in for the first down. Late. Dolson with a nice check down to Ken McDaniel. That brings in about a 50-ish yard field goal attempt for Brenza and McDaniel, which they totally fooled the Michigan. Two touchdowns, second and six. 49 seconds and counting, and Golson trying to make something happen. And then he connects, and it is complete right at the marker to Koyak. As it was a catch, but not 
for the first down. Golson going for the end zone and a leaping grab made by Fuller. Right in the corner, Blake Countess was draped on him. This, but watch the route by Fuller, who's one of the fastest players in college football, creates separation. The ball's thrown high, gets up in the air. The receiver does his job. The quarterback makes the decision pre-snap and throws an accurate ball. And this is what's cool. Look at the excitement that these guys have. Second touchdown pass of the night for Golson. Look at the first half stats. Notre Dame football and NBC presented by Under Armour. Rushing yards pretty even. 21-0 though in favor of the Irish 42nd meeting and last on the schedule. Just gets it off and he gives it to Green and he's stopped behind the line of scrimmage by Jalen Smith. Off, no shot whatsoever. He sees it, he trusts his eyes and he goes. This kid's one of the most gifted linebackers in college football. About 6'3", 235. Dan, he runs around a 4'5", He's as fast at 235 as most wideouts. Van Gorder loves him, but he does say he's still not totally comfortable in that new inside position. Third and seven for Michigan. Gardner steps up, and it's intercepted. Max Redfield on the run for Notre Dame. And he's brought down inside the 40. Yeah, I'm not sure why he didn't see Redfield. This is an NF style, NFL style zone blitz. House is rocking. See number nine, watch him pull out. It's a zone blitz. He's going out. The safety's right in the middle of the field. Gardner forces it. Now remember, we talked about his inconsistency. He stares it down. Last year, he threw 10 interceptions in the first six games. Now, he lit it up against Notre Dame. He lit it up against Ohio State. But the critics have been on him about consistency, and that's an example why. Well, to go along with all that elusiveness and quickness, Brinza just trying to pin the Wolverines back deep. Ball lands at the two and checks back at about the same spot. And Michigan will begin at about its own one-yard line. He's drafted the first 100 picks last year off that O-line. This is Smith is able to elude one tackler and get something out of it on first and 15. Players. Big third down here for Gardner. Feeling the pressure again up the middle and just gets it away. And the Wolverines will be forced to punt Sheldon Day. How you can't account for Sheldon Day, the best defender Notre Dame has, in your pass protection is beyond me. Sad part, bottom line, is that this uh, is the last one in the foreseeable future. Third down and 11, Golson, and has the first down complete to Carlisle. Luffing the passer, defense number 47. Back towards the quarterback, and there's Jake Ryan, clearly a late hit. Down the list a number of times played. This is the 42nd meeting. Fuller is having a good night in his own right on second and 12. Over and move on. Here comes the pressure by Michigan on third and four. Golson gets rid of it, and he picks up the first down to Fuller. You never know. Michigan and Notre Dame are going to meet in the bowl game. Second and six, and this is Carlisle going in for the score. Out of a laugher right now, 28 to nothing. Irish on the latest touchdown by Carlisle. it in play as Notre Dame has stretched it out 28 to nothing then Norfleet is going to give this one a try gets no further than the 15 yard line like that Funches has him in business at the 40 nothing going on the ground Notre Dame really bottling up that Michigan running attack yeah but the there's top. a safety over top second and nine Gardner's looking Funches way now he's scrambling and fumbles the football, and I believe Notre Dame has it. Yes, they do. Joe Schmidt 
The former walk-on middle linebacker is going to get a piece. Gardner keeps it alive. Eyes down the field. Number 38 from the left side right there with the hit. Ball pops loose. Number 90, Isaac Rochelle jumps on top, and it's big turnover for Notre Dame. Schmidt, the former walk-on who earned himself a starting job. Double thumbs up by Van Gorder, and Notre Dame has the ball back. Joe Schmidt, which caused the latest turnover, second of the game for Michigan. And here is Notre Dame and Greg Bryant up across the fourth as the Irish take a shutout to the fourth quarter. We'll return to Notre Dame Stadium after these messages from your NBC local station. A couple of turnovers forced by Notre Dame. We're watching Irish football on NBC presented by Under Armour. Position to make plays, and, and that team speed was evident tonight. Jalen Smith, 235 pounds, runs about 4'5", looks like a state trooper bringing down Gardner. Now, watch Cody Riggs, pedal, drive, quickness, short tackling, very aggressive, and again, Jalen Smith beats the right tackle easily, flashes, he, he, his eyes see it, he trusts it. Really good stuff. Gardner begins this. Oh. Furies to the air and stepping in front is Riggs. Second interception for the Irish. And the transfer from Florida. Not, but I love the way there's the football between his legs. He's got it. Oh, it hits the ground, but it looks like he's secured it, it the whole time. It looks like it's secured with that one hand. No doubt about it. And is so confident in what he is seeing. His reads of coverage. Dolson swings it out to McDaniel. Looking for the first down. Mark 14 career between 40 and 49. And 40 and 49. Well, no problem there. Big leg. Haven't been many problems for Notre Dame. Big at 31 to nothing. Now time for the unlimited update presented by Sprint. Golson, 22 of 33, three touchdown passes, two to Amir Carlisle and one to Will Fuller, who also had one last week. Notre Dame defense has forced some turnovers and the Notre Dame receivers averaging about 10 yards per catch. And the three, you get over to the 300 mark and you get closer to dude land. <laughs> Well, this is a dude, Funchess, wow, who grabs his ninth catch of the game. Zip, nine and a half remaining. Third down and five. Gardner trying to shovel it out to the outside of Justice Hayes. One has been out of hand for a while. And Gardner is going to go down. It was Daniel Cage, number 75, who had... A handful of his jersey. Three years from now, his body weight will have distributed itself in a different fashion. But look at the, the strength. Just hold on to him with one shirt full. He made a business decision and decided to come to Notre Dame. Third and nine. Nowhere to go again. Of this rivalry. And Gardner is swarmed over and goes down at the 35. And Notre Dame takes over with 240 left. And Van Gorder. <laughs> is beside himself. That tells you a little something about Brian Van Gorder. He brought the house. Man coverage and watch everybody's coming. Farley off the edge. Colin Hill, the true freshman up the middle. Brian Van Gorder's defense has played brilliantly tonight. Second meeting. And the last play of the game is a pick. And it's Elijah Shoemate. Is this the way it's going to end? <laughs> Talk about salt in the wound. Shoemate takes it back the other way. To round out a 37 to nothing shutout. First time the Wolverines ever shut out in the history of this series. It took 42 meetings to do it, but it happens between Kelly and Hope on a picture perfect night, literally, at Notre Dame Stadium. I love the respect between Kelly and Hope. 
By the way, Shoemate punctuates his night with the interception return for a touchdown. He also had a career-high 10 tackles. Last play. They're still bringing pressure. Shoemate aggressively steps in front for a pick six. Gardner came out of this thing limping. And as you said, Dan, is this the way this is going to end? Unbelievable. Fourth Michigan turnover. Feels great that uh, we're the first team in the history of Notre Dame uh, football uh, to shut out a Michigan 1984, team. 1984, Michigan had gone 365 games since they were last shut out. It happened against Iowa back in 84. And a really embarrassing performance for Big Blue. Right, Kelly's full press conference. Go to NBCSports.com. Reminder next Saturday, Notre Dame heads to Indianapolis to take on Purdue in this year's Shamrock Series game at Lucas Oil. Coverage begins next Saturday, 6.30 Eastern on NBCSN, followed by the game at 7.30 on NBC. Coming up next, except on the West Coast, it's your local news. Right now, stay with us on NBCSN for the Notre Dame post-game show for our entire NBC crew. Dan Hicks saying so long from Notre Dame Stadium. All Next Saturday, the Shamrock Series heads to Indianapolis for a heated in-state tug of war in primetime with Purdue. Touchdown, Boilermakers!